Lee, a really impressive victory this evening. What pleased you most about that one? Um, clean sheet. I think um, that's, that's definitely something that we have to keep trying to do. If, if we can do that, then we've got very good chances of winning games because we create chances and, and, and nine times out of ten we'll score goals in games. So, uh, so the clean sheet for me, there's, that, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, three wins on the spin for the first time this season. You can visibly see the confidence oozing through the side now, and I suppose that's what a run of results does to a team. Yeah, and, and, and you have to give players credit for that because the, we was in a bad run without doing too much wrong. I, I, I honestly believe that. We didn't score in seven. I don't know how. Like, I've never had a team that ain't scored within two games, you know. But they kept going and kept trying to do the right things. That's my job, to keep them... The, the, the spirit's high. I don't get too down when when we lose. I don't get too up when when we win. You know, like I just said there, like well done, congratulations. But you have to. The challenge now is, can you go again on on Saturday? And hopefully, we can carry it on. Yeah, you are left scratching your head a little bit because to go six games without scoring a goal, as you say, and then seven in the last three, including those three tonight. What's clicked? Is it just a clinical edge that we found? Well, people just taking the chances. We've been still creating. We've been creating better chances than what that we have in the last three games. Clearer cut chances than we have in the last three games. But that's football. Like if it was predictable, then then none of us would be doing the job, would we? And, but now the the, the the most important thing for me, Scotty got another one tonight. Left foot as well. Took it really well. Similar yeah, finish to to Saturday's. So. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that, that I take from tonight that was positive. Yeah, you mentioned the clean sheet pleases you most. It's eight for the season now. There's a really good balance about the side, a threat down one end, but also the doors firmly shut at the other. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the basics. You you got to do the basics right. This football club, that's what what this football club's about: hard work. Um, so that's that's what I try and drum into them all the time. The odd time they're going to fall a little bit short. They're human beings, and and, and that's natural, but. Tonight, again, I thought we was very good. Good partnerships all over the pitch, but you can see one flourishing at the top end, Troy Deeney feeding Scott Hogan for that goal that you mentioned, and they're just striking up a bit of an understanding now as every game passes. Yeah, Scott, he's the striker that plays on the shoulder, and, and Troy is a target man that needs people running in and around him, and it's not rocket science. Like You've you got players like that, and thankfully they, they can form a relationship, and Scott, he's just got to keep going. If you make run run and you don't get it, you can easily just stop making them runs, but then you're never going to score. But if you make 10, then you might score. If you make 20, you've got more chance of scoring. It, it, that's the game. So it's tiring, it's hard work to do that, but as long as he keeps gambling, he's going he's gonna to score goals. Yeah. Even with two strikers on the pitch, you still want to see players chipping in from other areas and Gary Gardner and Riley McGree tonight and it's important that there's goals all across the, the pitch. Because it shouldn't just be all the pressure on, on, the, on the strikers. It, the other lads have got to chip in and, and, and the weekend we had Robbo from a set piece as well so defenders have to chip in as well because other teams defenders score goals. So yeah but I'm, I'm really pleased for the midfielders especially guards because I said to him half time like look get it wide get yourself in a box and he'd done that because yeah. when you arrive late as a midfielder, especially with his presence and size and power, it, it's tough to defend against. The blotch on the evening is Dion Sanderson having to come off, but also some worrying news from Tief Chong as well. Just tell us a little bit about those two. Uh, yeah, so Dion, firstly, he's just overstretched his um, top of his fire, like defending one of the crosses. So he had to come off at half time, and, and obviously, Tarif is. It's the worst one, really. He's, he's had an operation today. Um, 16 weeks he, he's going to be out for, so it, it's tough on him because the way he done it in training on uh, Friday was it's a five-yard pass, <laughs> like from from outside the pitch, passing it into the pitch, just just nothing, no one near him, and, and to have damage like that from something so small it's, it, it'll be tough to take but it, it'll make him stronger so these things happen to, to, to players and and it'll make him stronger as a person in his future because he's got a great career ahead of him and um, and we're definitely going to miss him he's been outstanding for us so um, but yeah hopefully he, he, he get back and um, 
come back here one day and, and, and so we can all thank him. Well done tonight, Lee. Cheers. Thank you.